everything you need to know about the new hacker rp set update in brookhaven all included in one video so if you haven't already hit the like button crush the likes if you're excited for a new brookhaven update if you're not excited then i guess you don't gotta hit the like button but i would hit it because this update is amazing and there's a lot to go over from secret type stuff i mean there's a lot we're gonna be trying to include all the secrets that we know to this date and we're gonna try to include everything that is in this update and uh well this update consisted of a hacker rp set if you kind of go down below it also consists of willies now you can pop willies on uh, bikes and motorcycles of sort uh, and it gets kind of crazy with that one too and then there's minor bug fixes now when it comes to minor bug fixes it could really be patching up or changing little subtle things around Brookhaven that we would barely even notice so the minor bug fix is a little interesting and I am kind of curious myself what those minor bug fixes are uh, because sometimes the changes are so subtle but they really are quite noteworthy so yeah anyways getting back to this though we have my bike over here i feel like if i'm gonna ride a bike and be popping willies i probably should get me a helmet of sorts so that seems to be taking safety first and the best optimal way possible um i need a biker helmet maybe this one okay that, that that'll work that'll work it ain't really my preferred choice or i can do this cat one i don't think i'm gonna do that one i'm, I'm i know what people want to be doing but i'm not going to so this will work so we get on the bike here, and we're going to be taking a look at our first feature in today's video. That is the wheelies. How to pop wheelies, how to use wheelies on different various motorcycles. Well, if you want to be able to pop a wheelie on the bikes, all you have to do is go up to the speed, the, uh, the little speedometer. Now, once you click on that, you will be able to adjust your different speed, but you're going to see something we have never had before, and that is this wheelie symbol. So once we press this, it puts our, car, our, our motorcycle into wheelie formation, and then we can drive around in a willy now i know there's no stoppies okay we can't do stoppies but we got willies now stoppies is basically the opposite of willy now um now we have this and this is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie dude this is so cool imagine going super fast just kind of going across like this dude oh 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 don't no, no crash now don't crash we do got the helmet though we do got the helmet if we need it so if that's not a more amazing and when you hop out of it it goes back to normal if that's not as amazing this applies for all motorcycle type vehicles now Here's some ones that you probably would not have expected it to apply to, but it does. If we scroll up here and we spawn in an ATV, the ATVs also can do wheelies, which I'm very happy about this as well. So boom, we can now do a wheelie on the ATV as well, just like that. Pretty cool, right? And another one that is a surprise to me is the moped. That's right, you can do a wheelie on this thing. What more do you need? This one takes the cake as king. This is definitely the best one right here, guys. Without a doubt, the moped willies is just unstoppable. Top of its class, if I ever say so myself. So yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So we're gonna be riding a willie on back over to our house, and then we're gonna get to look at this new parking lot, which is actually a hacker base. So if we come over here, we can press this. This opens up a garage to go down into our massive garage. Um, but once we do that, we can also come over here and just drop down into the secret entrance, and then we are here. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, that's where that goes out. Um, we can close the garage from there button as well. Once we come in here, we will go through this door. This button here, these are just kind of lights, more or less. They're not really uh, any depth added to it button-wise. But if we come down here, we got the more buttons and stuff like that. If we walk in here, we then have the massive new hacker room. Now, this thing is so cool, guys. From all the details you will see around the map, access granted. Ooh. So, yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in here in the hacker room. Look at this mouse. Um, so far, there's no secret buttons under a lot of this stuff, but there is some bunk beds if you need to just kind of crash as your hacking endeavors continue i feel like a hacker would never leave here dude you can use the microwave and put food in the microwave we learned that recently uh oh wait that's how you do it so this button here starts a fire on the microwave someone kept commenting that you could start a fire in the microwave and that's kind of what i was trying to figure out in the last video that i uploaded regarding the safe location but i didn't know there was just a button right here that does it so there you go you press that button and it starts a fire on the microwave press it again it stops it what a random feature but it's pretty cool so <laughs> yeah um, that's possible now we also have a coke machine over here get your cokes uh, file cabinets, everything in between. Uh, very interesting, very exciting, right? But in the bad thing, you will notice a secret door that requires a key card of sort. In order to get this key card, you come on over here, and it's just right on the desk. Pretty simple, right? So we grab the key card, and then we come over here, and we can get access to here. All right, once we're in here, we're going to go and grab a ladder. 
Okay, so this is a, a pretty hard to do. I'm not gonna lie, dude, but I wanna try to get it here on video for you guys. All right, so let me, come on, where, why can't I see? Come on now, I can't see anything. Eee. This is the problem I'm telling you guys. I cannot see anything right now. Where am I? What is going on? Oh my God, dude. And it's just not gonna let me see anything right now. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we wanna put a ladder somewhere here. Okay, that's not really helping me. Nope, this is really hard to do, guys. All right. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, okay, let me try to just place it right there, maybe. Okay, I don't even know if you need the ladder, but I think I got it, so let's actually go ahead and get my flashlight out here. Now I'm gonna need my ladder again. So let's put the ladder here and then we can jump up here and now we're here, right? We're up on this part. Now this part is kind of cool, but that's not the main part we want. We want to jump down through here and we can walk through the wall. And now we are in this whole huge underground place. Now you can change the curtains of your house to open something, but you can't see it from here, which is super weird. But um, yeah, so this is how you get into this opened area room here. It's kind of weird. I don't know why you would want it here, but it is a possibility in a place you can go. So now we found that out. That was way more difficult than I assumed it was gonna be. But yeah, you can get up there if you just place things right. So let's go hop back down in here and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about that you can't see for some reason. All right, so if we come down here, there's also a feature where you can change this by clicking on the blinds, right? And then you can see up into that room that we were just in. However, if you're standing in that room, you cannot see down in here. Uh, so it's very interesting in that regard. Now, back to the microwave. If we jump through the microwave, we're going to go into a maze. So in my safe location video, I must point out that I said that there was no way or button to really press to get into the, um, you know, the safe, right? But there is a button in here that you do press to get to the safe. Um, so the thing is, I just don't know where that button is. Oh, right there it is. Hold up right here so what does the button look like it's just an invisible button and then it opens up like that so there's an invisible button right there above the wall you press it opens up the safe room so yeah i wanted to point this out because of my safe location video i didn't really know where the button was but i still wanted to give you guys the location and i just used the sleeping bag ever since i found it but there is an invisible button that you can press. Wolfpack did clear this up on the Discord later on. Uh, so thank you so much, Wolfpack, clearing it up and confirming to players that we do not have to use the sleeping bag to get in. I knew it didn't seem uh, reasonable because you always include an entrance and an exit to the safe location. So I was a little thrown off. I figured there was a button that I was missing. Thank you for letting the community know. Um, so yeah, we have that. Then we come back. Oh, wait, wait. Is that where I need to go? Wait. This is... This isn't the safe room though, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Guys, I thought that opened up the safe room. Hold up, I'm so confused. Instead, it just opened, hold up. Wait, what? <laughs> hold up guys, I I'm so confused. Okay, there it is. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I'm not in the room. Okay, so let's go over here and here is the safe location. Obviously, we included that in a previous video as well for you people to have under control. But uh, yeah, guys, we've been at it today, um, but we have this here. So hopefully you guys, uh, in, you know, you got the safe location. Cool. Now we got to find the button that gets us out of here, right? The button that gets us out of here. So there is another button that apparently gets you out of here. Um, which maybe is way back here if we go out where we came from yeah and then it just opens back up all right so that's how you enter and exit the safe location room and all that good stuff so yeah with that aside guys that's all i'm going to be able to include in this video i probably missed some stuff but for the most part we covered the mass majority of the secrets and everything in the video so far but there's still probably things to cover and go over which i will do in the forthcoming days so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one